Hello and welcome to another Daily Dose of Insights powered by Container Exchange. My name is Christian and every other day we bring to you the new stories and data points that move container markets. Um, a very interesting week continues. Uh, yesterday we had uh, uh, inflation figures from the US come in, uh, which came in a little bit higher than expected, further increasing the expectations of uh, uh, further rate hikes, uh, interest rate hikes uh, later this year, um, and hence in turn dampening um, the global uh, demand outlook. Um, global GDP growth uh, is expected uh, to um, fall down or decrease to just 2.4% uh, this year uh, compared to more than 5% uh, last year. And Merskline also expect a decrease in containerized traffic by 2.5%. And uh, they mentioned that earlier uh, last week, actually, in their earnings uh, call. Um, this growth um, and a decrease in growth, um, as we previously mentioned, um, is, of course, very heterogeneous um, across uh, the globe, with some uh, trades and regions experiencing a significant um, and steep decline in containerized traffic, um, demand, etc., um, while others um, hold uh, fairly uh, stable, um, such as uh, Asia to Middle East ISC or uh, Intra-Asia. Uh, on the Trans-Pacific Loop, we saw the steepest or see the steepest declines um, uh, with uh, more than 30% uh, year over year. Um, and that's also where um, carriers are now resorting to suspending um, entire um, services. Um, for example, MERS suspending its stand standalone Trans-Pacific uh, Loop TP20 um, until further notice. Um, so instead of just blanking individual sailings, they now take out entire services and loops. Um, Lastly, uh, looking on the two sides of the Pacific, uh, very interesting, um, number one, on the U.S. West Coast, uh, labor negotiations between the ILWU um, and the employers are back on track. Um, contract negotiations started sometime uh, in the middle of last year when the last uh, contract expired in July 2022 um, and was then uh, a little bit um, uh, impeded by uh, legal disputes on jurisdiction, uh, et cetera. Now this is back on track and this is good uh, for news for the US because the US just needs to get its transportation and back on track in order to compete in the global market and um, make sure containers flow steadily. And then on the other side of the uh, Pacific, uh, interesting uh, news I read this morning, um, consumer confidence in China really struggles to pick up after um, COVID, after lockdowns and after uh, the last Chinese uh, New Year. Um, both in terms of uh, savings, uh, consumers are keeping uh, still record numbers of or record amounts of uh, spendings um, on the on the side, uh, um, record amounts of savings uh, on the side, um, and as well uh, using cheap consumer loans. Um, the Beijing essentially mandated uh, the Chinese banks to give out um, subsidized or very cheap consumer loans to to stoke uh, uh, demand. Uh, consumers taking out these loans, taking advantage of the low interest rates, but then instead of spending it, uh, using it to uh, uh, pay down uh, mortgages and other higher interest uh, loans. So not really the uh, intended uh, consequences and another sign that you can't really um, force your way out of low consumer confidence. Uh, um, stay tuned for more news uh, and uh, insights uh, towards uh, the end of uh, this week on Friday. Have a very successful day ahead and speak to you soon. Take care.